So before we get started with this video, make sure to join the server. The IP addresses will be listed on the screen right now and you can check the description and the comments for it. So if we type slash jobs, then go to burglar, we can read about it. So we need to get in the truck burglary box wheel to start this job. Then we need to break into the house marked on the radar and find something worth stealing. Then we need to offload the goods at the lockup. We can earn 20% more if we do the job between 22 and 6 server time. And if you read down there, you can read about the extra bonuses that you get for different amount of skills. So how do we find the burglary box wheel? Well, if you use slash locate car, then go to burglary box wheel, we can locate the closest one to us. So as you can see, there's one right here. So all we gotta do is to enter it. Then we need to press 2 to start the job. And then it will tell us a house that we need to rob. So the amount of payout that you get is actually determined by how much we steal from the house. So if we steal a little bit, you're gonna get much less payout. But if you steal everything in the house, then we get the max payout that's stated in slash jobs. So as you can see, I only stole one thing. Now if I go and offload it to the lockup, I'll only get a little bit of payout. However, next house I'm gonna rob, I'm gonna rob a little bit more. Just to show you that the price difference is much more. And sometimes the houses can have alarms in them, so all you need to do is to look around quickly and try to find the alarm. And please note, you have a limited amount of time before you can't rob the house because the alarm has went off. And like I said previously, now I'm gonna try to steal a couple of more things just to show you that I will get a little bit of extra payout depending on the more I steal. As you see, now I got a little bit more money just because I stole a couple of more things than before.
Alright guys, I don't have only stolen one thing, I'm actually gonna steal everything inside the house this time, so let's go ahead and see how that looks like. Alright guys, so once you rob the whole house, it won't tell you to go back inside the house or drop the goods off at the lockup. Instead, it will tell you immediately to go to the lockup and drop everything right there. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. Alright, so as you can see, this time we got full payout instead of basically nothing because we robbed everything inside the house. But uh, anyways, that's gonna be all for today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you wanna see more content like this, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And like I said in the intro, make sure to join the servers. The IP addresses will be listed in the description and in the comments for you guys. But anyways, I'll see you in the next video and take it easy.